Okay, hi everybody. Another day, another practice that I'm gonna share with you. Remember that while I offer suggestions on the poses we can do and how we can flow through them, you pick and choose, okay? You're your strongest advocate, so only you can know how you feel in the pose and you're meant to feel good in the pose, okay? So if anything hurts or doesn't feel good for your body, then you can skip that, okay? We're gonna start in child's pose and also child's pose is a great place to come if ever you need to take a break during the class or if you wanna just skip a pose that we're doing, you can come and take a break in child's pose. So you come to all fours, you ease the hips back, reach the arms out, or you could even rest your head on your hands, however you're comfortable. So child's pose is meant to be quite a comfortable, nurturing position. And also it's a wonderful way to stretch out the back. All right, a lot of us store tension in the back of our bodies and child's pose is a nice nurturing pose, a nice way to slowly and gently ease out that tension. So remember, let's focus our breath in and out through the nose. Try and keep that focus throughout the whole class. And that's where we get the meditative effects of yoga. So even while we're working and flowing, if we're focusing on the breath, that allows us to forget about everything else, right? So if our brain is focusing on our breath, it has to forget everything else. Okay, so let's take it up to all fours. Whenever you're ready to begin your warm up, let's come to all fours. And we'll start with a little cat's breath. So inhale, lift the hips up, lift the chest up, reaching the chest up and forward. And as we exhale, we'll round through the back of the body. So tuck the hips under, round through the shoulders. And we'll do that a few times. So inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. So you can stick with that, or if you're comfortable adding a little movement, you can inhale, scoop forward, and exhale, roll back. And inhale, scoop forward, and exhale, roll back. So taking the warm up now, all the way through the hips and the legs, the torso, all the time keeping the tummy in tight to support that lower back. So one more time, scoop forward, and exhale, roll back. Good, so from all fours, we can tuck the toes under, and with the tummies in tight, support the back slowly, lift the hips up off the ground, and then you can begin to sink your heels down into the mat and take it into your down dog. So of course, if the back of your legs are still uh, cold and only now warming up, keep as much of a bend in the back of those knees as you need to. The heels don't need to reach the floor. That's just where you're working towards, okay? So you're pressing the heels down. Doesn't matter where they go, that's just the action that you're doing, all right? So to help the back of the legs warm up, we can pedal the legs out. So pressing one heel down after the other helps us warm up through the back of the calves as well. Good, so from there we'll sink both heels down, then we'll bend both knees and we'll gently roll it into a plank position. So tummy in tight and if you're just starting off and not used to plank, you can take those knees down, okay? So that's always an alternative if it's just a a tired day, a kneeling plank is also an option. All right, so from there, we're all gonna take our knees down, slowly bend through the elbows, keeping the chest forward, and we'll take it all the way down to the floor. And then slowly, we're gonna lift the chest up off the mat. Okay, so you see how bent my elbows are? We're still cold, okay? This is still early in the class, so this is just a little cobra. All right, so really the work is through the chest, lifting up, and reaching forward. And we'll flow with the breath again in here. So we exhale, release it down, and inhale, lift up. Little cobra. Exhale, take it down, and inhale, come up. Okay, so you take care of your back. A lot of people have back issues, so if even this is too much strain on your back, you can keep it super low, okay? You could even hold it with your forearms on the ground, as opposed to doing the rolling action. Okay, this is fine. So if you're in this cobra, you reach the chest up and forward. So creating some space there in the torso. All right, but if you were rolling that cobra, let's, last time let's hold it here. So hold your cobra, whether it's down um, on the forearms or up a little bit higher. Okay, and then we'll all release down. We'll tuck those toes under and with the tummies in tight, 
we'll slowly press back up to a plank and then lift back up to a down dog again slowly sinking the heels down to wherever you're comfortable good and from here to continue the warm up through the back of the legs we're slowly just going to lift one leg up after the other so the hips are square still to the mat and slowly lift that leg up it's not um it's not a big effort we're not doing the splits here just warming up through the back of the leg so one leg up after the other good so next time you lift up your right leg let's hold it there and then we're going to shift forward back into our plank and crunch that same right leg in so we take it up to a down dog with a right leg lift and then plank with a crunch and we'll do that a few times down dog lift plank crunch and down dog lift and plank crunch and one more time down dog lift and plank crunch and then hold it here in this plank squeezing the knee in squeeze 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 take it back to your plank or kneeling plank and knees chest comes down and chin and inhale up to your little cobra remember choose your cobra you could have your forearms down or not okay release that cobra a bit as you tuck your toes under and with strong arms press back to your plank and then sink back into your down dog so same thing on the other side then this time the left leg lifts in your down dog and plank crunch and down dog leg lift and plank crunch and down dog lift and plank crunch and one more time down dog lift and plank crunch and hold and squeeze 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 good take that foot back to plank knees chest and chin or you can begin to take a lower plank your choice and inhale up to cobra or up dog so you see how up dog the lower body is off the floor as well okay so you have the choice of a cobra a nice low cobra with the forearms down you can take the hands by your shoulders and press up into a slightly taller cobra okay all the time tummy's in nice and tight or up dog which is where the front of your feet are on the mat and then even the hips and legs the thighs are off the mat okay choose whichever one you want all of them are doing the same thing which is opening up the chest and stretching through the torso okay so you choose what works for your body and then from there you can press it into a little push-up and then lift into your down dog all right and slowly we're gonna walk the feet in towards your hands okay so if that means you need to bend your knees a lot that's fine go ahead and bend your knees and then we're gonna hang out here in a little rag doll so one hand grabs each elbow and then you hang the upper body so nice and loose all right so lifting up through the back of the legs bend those knees just as much as you need to for your hamstrings to be comfortable and the tummy is in tight to support that lower back drop your chin down let your head hang loose so that there is no tension in the head neck and shoulders and just hang out you can even wave gently side to side so bend one knee after the other so nothing crazy just a gentle wave side to side helping the back of the hips and hamstrings to continue their warm-up okay so release your fingertips it doesn't matter if they touch the ground or not maybe they touch the shins and we're slowly with big bend in the back of the knees we're slowly going to round through the back and roll it up into a standing position and then inhale reach the arms up and we're going to roll it all the way back down so bent arms bent legs curl it down into like a ball and then roll it all the way back up so just making sure that we're warming up the entire body okay so roll it all the way down and then roll it all the way up one more time let's go inhale up and exhale roll down good and then let's roll it all the way back up to standing inhale on the way up and exhale release those arms wide so you can step the legs apart a little bit more and let's slowly just swing it out okay so relaxing through the back all right so remember we don't want to carry any tension into this class if anything we're trying to get rid of the tension so i like to really just loosen up the upper body and just swing it out 
It's like that rag doll we just did. Just loosen up everything and swing it out nice and loose. Good, so when we're ready, we should be pretty warm by now. Let's come and stand to the top of the mat. We're gonna take it into a sun salutation, which is a flowing sequence of poses that we often repeat and then build on. So we start in mountain pose, which is just standing up. And we take a big breath in and reach up the arms. And as we exhale, I like to swan dive. So you choose. I find a swan dive with wide open arms is less pressure on my back than a forward fold with the arms reaching out long. Okay, but you choose however you want to forward fold. Go ahead and forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. So when you've bent over, you can have your fingertips resting on your shins or on the mat, wherever they reach. Inhale, lift the chest up. Then exhale, you're gonna let the hands come to the mat and you're gonna take step, step back into a plank. So again, kneeling plank is the alternative here if plank pose is still too much. Now, as we did in the warm up, I'm gonna do one modified version first. And then after that, I'll do the full, okay? So as we did in the warm up, knees come down here, bend through the elbows, the chest comes down, and then the chin, and then inhale up to your little cobra. Okay, so I call that knees, chest, and chin. All right, then press back up, tuck the toes under first, then with strong arms and strong tummies, press up to your plank. It's safer than cranking up from cobra, okay? So tuck the toes, strong body, Press up through your plank and lift up through your down dog. And then you can step those legs forward, just a couple steps or you can walk them in. Uh, after this, I'll jump them in, so you choose. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, forward fold. So we'll flow through again now. Inhale, come on all the way up to standing. And then on the exhale, forward fold, straight back, down. Inhale, lift the chest. Now here's where you choose. Exhale, step or jump back to plank or kneeling plank. Now knees, chest and chin or lower plank, your choice. And cobra or up dog, your choice, okay? You can even add a little lower plank push up right there or just lift the hips straight into your down dog and bend through the knees and step or jump in to the hands. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. And inhale, come on up. So that's the full sound salute, we'll do it a few times. Exhale, swan dive forward, little bend in those knees as much as you need. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank, cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up or just lift into down dog, your choice. One more time through. So we bend the knees and step or jump up to the hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank. Cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up or straight into down dog. So you notice I say or, right? You don't have to do that extra push up. But if you're feeling strong, it's a great way to get the heart rate up a bit more and work a little harder if you're up for that. Okay, so from here, like we did in the warm up, we're gonna lift the right leg up into our dog splits and plank crunch, dog splits and plank crunch. One more time, dog splits and plank crunch and hold, hold, hold. And then from there, step that right foot forward into a big lunge. So remember in a lunge, watch your knee you don't want it to go way out over the toes, that's too much pressure on the knee, okay? You want it over the heel or behind it. And if this lunge is too intense, your back knee can be down, okay? So from the lunge, either kneeling or full lunge, we're gonna slowly take it up to a crescent. So lifting the upper body up and reaching the arms up. So remember, full lunge or kneeling, your choice. Okay, but let's have a big breath in right here in crescent lunge and exhale. And again, big breath in through the nose and exhale. Good, so we're gonna create a little flow. So hands come back down. We're gonna step back into our down dog. So we're gonna take the right leg up, dog splits. Bring that right leg forward all the way in to your crescent lunge, either kneeling or full. Okay, so back to the plank, dog splits, lunge, 
crescent pose. Okay, plank, dog splits, lunge, crescent pose. One more time, plank, dog splits, and lunge, crescent pose. Good, from there, bring the hands back down, step back to plank, tummies in tight, knees, chest and chin, or lowered plank, cobra, or up dog. Lower plank push up and down dog. So this time the left leg lifts into our dog splits, plank crunch, dog splits, plank crunch. One more time, dog splits, plank crunch and hold. Squeeze, 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 and step that left foot forward. Good, so this is into your lunge. Remember you can choose to either have a full lunge or the back knee down. Inhale, strong supported upper body into your crescent lunge. And breathe here, make sure you're breathing. So I don't know, you might, you might feel that there are some cardio effects in a yoga class, right? Good, let's inhale here. Bring those hands down through our lunge. So here we go, dog splits, plank crunch, lunge and crescent pose. Come on back to your lunge, dog splits, lunge, and crescent pose. Plank, dog splits, lunge, and crescent pose. And one more time, because I lost count. Good. And crescent pose. Good, so from here, come back to plank, knees, chest and chin, or lowered plank. Cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up and down dog through the rest of a sun salute. So bend through the knees and step or jump into the hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to standing. Exhale, swan dive forward. Fingertips on the mat or the shins, wherever they reach. Inhale, lift and exhale, step or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank, cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up and down dog. Let's sink those heels. Hold it here, down dog, catch your breath. So after some hard work, all of a sudden down dog feels a bit like a resting pose, okay? But if you need more of a rest, take it into child's pose, that's fine. In and out through the nose. Good, let's lift that right leg. We're gonna bend the right leg and open up the right hip. Okay, so that lifted right foot pushes behind you and to the left of it, and you open up that right hip. You can even look underneath that right arm. That opens up the whole front of the right body. Good, so square it back to the center. We're gonna sweep that leg all the way forward into a lunge like we had before. This time we're gonna slowly come up to a crescent pose. We're gonna hold it here. If you're comfortable making a bit of a back bend, go right ahead. Okay, if not, you can just hold that crescent pose right there nice and strong and you can be kneeling, okay? Good, but let's all release the arms if they were lifted. We're gonna lift up through the hips and we're gonna square the back foot down to the mat, okay? So this is where the feet are now perpendicular to each other. So the right foot is pointing in front of you, the left foot, sorry, the right foot is pointing up to the right, the left foot is pointing in front of you, okay? Arms come up and we have our warrior two. So tummies in tight and just take a moment to check how you feel in this pose, okay? So certainly your right leg is working it's bent at kind of like 90 degrees or be behind, but remember that knee going out way over the toe is very stressful on that knee, okay? Tummy is in nice and tight. The chest is lifted up tall. Shoulders are back and down, right? Not up by your ears. Shoulders are back and down, and the tailbone is tucked under a bit, okay? That allows you to lengthen out through that lower back, okay? Always trying to lengthen out through the back, to create more space between the spine, between the vertebra, and that generally feels good. Good, so from warrior two, we're gonna let our left hand drop down, right arm reach up, 
and over into reverse warrior. So this left hand can rest on the thigh or even down on your calf if you reach that far, but try and stay away from your knee. We don't really want to rest on that knee, okay? Whereas the top arm reaches up and over. Tummy then tight all the time. The legs are strong and you're breathing, okay? You've got to be delivering a lot of oxygen to the body to keep those muscles working so hard. All right, we're going to release out of that pose, leave the legs where they are, reach the right arm long and either rest that forearm on your thigh or your fingertips can go to the mat and the left arm reaches up and over into side angle pose. Remember to modify, okay? This is a side angle pose too. So however yours needs to be, that you can then relax in that pose and work on finding space. So elongating through the spine, tucking the tailbone under for some space in the lower back. And again, focus on the breath. Good, let's flow here. So we're gonna flow through reverse angle and side angle. And reverse angle and side angle. So inhale on the way up, exhale on the stretch, inhale in between, exhale on the stretch. So stay here in our lunge. We're gonna turn to face our front leg and take it back into a regular lunge. Let's all take our back knee down if we hadn't already and shift the hips back, flexing that front leg. So here we go into a deep hamstring stretch on this front leg. Okay, let's inhale, lengthen through the upper body. Exhale, you can gently sink down towards that leg. It doesn't matter how far you go. And if this leg starts to tremble, bend the knee, get, release it a bit. Okay, good. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, sink. One more time, big breath in, lengthen through the upper body, tummy in tight and exhale, sink down. Good. Release back through a lunge. Let's have the hands down for support because we're stepping back to a plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank. Cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up and down dog. So same thing on the other side then, left leg lifts. And this time we're bending that lifted leg and opening up to the left. So this time the left hip is opening up. You can look underneath that left arm if you like. And then gently square back to the center. Big step forward with that left leg into a lunge. Okay, and from here, we're gonna take it up to a, and we're gonna hold the crescent lunge. So the back knee can be down, right? Into a kneeling crescent, same thing. And if you need more stability for that back bend, then that's a nice way to do it. The lower, the back knee goes down, and then you're stable enough to inhale up, and exhale maybe a little back bend. And slowly come on forward. So from our lunge, we're gonna lower the back foot down perpendicular to the front. Inhale the upper body up and open up those arms into our warrior two. So remember, you're opening up the hips, taking that knee away from this thigh. So you feel opening through the hips, okay? And strong, strong left leg here at this time and strong arms. So again, shoulders back and down, not up by the ears. Tummy in tight, tailbone tucked under. So a nice long upper body. Always trying to create space wherever you are. Okay, and that's what we do with our breath. So inhale, make space, reach the arms wider maybe. Exhale, relax there. Good, so from there we're gonna take it into reverse angle, reverse warrior, sorry. So this time the right hand comes to rest on the thigh or the calf, left arm up and over. All right, so if you've gone so far that you find yourself turning forward and crumpling over, and maybe you've gone a little too far, better to come up, right? Better to have the chest open and be able to inhale, reach that side body long, and then exhale, reach over to the side, but still keeping that chest open. All right, there's no need to go further, okay? We're working on opening up the chest and having great deep, clear breath. The breath is more important than how far you've reached in the pose. All right, so then reverse uh, side angle. So this time the left arm can rest on that thigh, right arm up and over, or you can reach the fingertips down, whatever works for you, top arm up and over. So you see you're reaching now 
you feel length all the way down from the right fingertips all the way down to your right foot. Good. So we're going to flow here now. So super strong legs to support that upper body. Maybe uh, step that back leg in a bit if you need more support. Okay, so inhale on the way up. Exhale, reverse angle. Inhale in the middle. Exhale, side angle. My legs keep slipping. Inhale on the way up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale in the middle. Exhale, side angle. One more time. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Good. So this time we're going to stay down. Turn to face that leg. The back heel pivots up. The back knee takes it down into like a kneeling lunge and then slowly shift the hips backwards as you lengthen out through this left leg now. So this side, one side of the body is always different to the other. So this hamstring might be looser, it might be tighter, okay? But wherever you are, inhale once you've reached your point of tightness, exhale, sink into that deep hamstring stretch. And again, inhale and lengthen. And exhale, sink. One more time, inhale, lengthen and exhale sink so this is the preamble to the splits over time you can work on taking that leg further out but for right now we just work on improving the flexibility in your hamstrings okay so you need super warm and flexible and open hips and hamstrings to take it further down okay so from our kneeling lunge let's have our hands on our mats stepping back to plank knees chest and chin or lower plank inhale cobra or up dog Knees, chest and chin or lower plank, and then up to your down dog. Sink those heels down, let's bend through the knees and step or jump into the hands. Inhale, lift the chest. We're gonna stay here in this forward fold. So remember how we did ragdoll at the beginning? We're gonna stay here in a forward fold. So the legs are all warmed up now. You may be able to grab the big toe with the first two fingers and thumb of each hand. And inhale, lengthen where you are. So lift up through the hips and reach the chest forward. And then as you exhale, let the chest sink towards the legs. So again, doesn't matter how far you go. More important to be keeping space through the vertebra, keeping a nice long upper body, nice long legs. And then exhale, even the quads are engaged, okay? So you're not just yanking your upper body in towards those legs. The quads are engaged to support the hamstrings and slowly, slowly, you're letting the upper body relax down. If you're super warm and you're comfortable, you can bend at your elbows and use the strength of your arms to slowly and gently pull your upper body in towards those legs. But again, there's no need to go further, okay? Once you've reached your, the limit of your stretch, then you're best off hanging out there and breathing into it. There's no, there's no need to go further than you're comfortable, okay? It's meant to feel good, not to hurt. All right, so let's release the fingertips, bend those knees, and we're slowly gonna roll up to standing and stay standing. So slowly, slowly roll up. Good, from here, we're gonna inhale, reach up, and we're gonna grab the left wrist and with the right hand and reach up tall. If you like, you can cross your left foot over your right, reach up tall again. And slowly on exhale, drop over to the right side. Again, keeping that left shoulder open, gazing up at the ceiling. So stretching all the way through the left side of the body. And breathing, okay? So we never hold our breath in the poses. We stay in poses for a few breaths, but it's, that's your opportunity to then focus on the breath. Again, bring your attention back to the breath. Okay, if all the mind clutter has intervened, that's the opportunity to get rid of it, forget about it, and focus on the breath again. So we're gonna do that blowing palm stretch on the other side. So if you like, you can cross your right foot over the left or just stand normal, it's fine. Inhale, reach up. So this time, let's grab the right wrist, reach up tall. And exhale, drop over to the left side, keeping that top shoulder open. Big breath in, open up that top shoulder. Exhale, release down maybe a bit further. And inhale, come on up. Good, let's release the arms, release the legs. We're gonna step the legs wide, so the feet are sort of um, parallel with each other. Tummy's in nice and tight. 
So very, very slowly, you're gonna fold forward. If your hands don't easily reach the ground, you can have something underneath there, some blocks or something for support, whatever. Okay, and the hips are lifting up directly from the ground. Nice strong legs, as always, the quads are engaged. Okay, inhale, we're gonna lengthen through the upper body. Exhale, sink down, let the upper body sink down towards the floor. So this is like a wide leg forward fold. Really nice way to relax through the upper body and through the back. So we'll spend a few breaths here. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, relax. Again, inhale, lengthen and exhale, relax. So when you're ready, you can bring one hand right underneath the shoulder, okay? With the hand flat to the floor and the other arm opens up to the side. So my right hand is on the mat, left arm opening up and then you can turn the whole upper body with that arm, okay? Inhale, think of lengthening through the torso, even as you're in a twist, lengthen first, and then exhale, open up. And each time you inhale, lengthen again, and then exhale, open up. Okay, one more time, big breath in right here, and exhale, open. Good, let's release that hand down. So this time, leave the left hand, or leave the opposite hand on the mat, Open up the other hand, inhale, lengthen through the upper body first, and then exhale, open up. Again, big breath in and lengthen, and exhale, open. One more time, inhale and lengthen, and exhale and open. Good, twists are great for aiding digestion. From here, let's walk your legs in until a bit wider than hip distance, and you're gonna lower the bum down towards the floor. Hands come together in a prayer position and you can just use your arms to gently press your legs wide. So a squat, so at the end of the class because uh, the hips and hamstrings are all nice and warmed up and juicy now and you, can, you should be able to just relax in the squat. But as always, take it to wherever you're comfortable, okay? So if that's too deep, then you can be lifted up here. That's great too. All of it's opening up through the hip flexors, the hip joint and the hamstrings. All right, and in a squat, you should be able to relax a bit through that lower back. Good, so let's release the hands down. We're gonna come straight to sitting, bringing the soles of the feet together in a bound angle pose. So wherever you're comfortable, right? If this is too close, too close into the body, then your feet can be further apart, that's fine too. Wherever you feel right in the pose, all right? Good, so hold on now, either your shins or your feet again, wherever you can reach. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Let's slowly reach the fold, the, the chest forward. But as always, with all of our forward folds, inhale, lengthen first, then exhale, sink. And again, it is irrelevant how far you get in this pose, okay? That's not the point. The point is to create length in the spine so that as you exhale and gently sink the upper body forward, you're stretching through the lower back. Okay, a nice little inner thigh stretch here at the same time, but this is so great for releasing tension in the hips and the lower back where a lot of us store a lot of tension. Okay, so nice and easy, let's release that up and just take the legs wide. Again, doesn't matter how far they are apart, okay, to your wide leg seated position, all right? Um, so we're gonna, if you've taken your legs too wide, and they start to tremble, you're gonna to have to bring them in a bit, okay? That's not helping you if they're trembling. All right, so, but wherever you feel comfortable. So you should feel a hamstring stretch um, and then be able to just sit there and breathe, okay? So inhale, lengthen through the upper body. Exhale, slowly bending at the elbows and taking it as far forward as you feel comfortable. So once you feel uh, tightness in the inner thigh and the hip area, you can just stop there and breathe into that stretch. If you have some blocks or some blankets, it's nice to build them up here so that you can rest the head, the neck, and the shoulders. That's pretty sweet. If you can take it all the way down, then go ahead, take it all the way down. 